Can I interest you in a $666 burger? Really? Possibly. Or how about this $25,000 ice cream sundae? Come on, really says it? If you think I'm making this up, you're wrong. These otherwise common foods are so exorbitantly priced because they contain gold. This sundae, dubbed the world's most expensive dessert, is garnished with five grams of edible 23 karat gold and is served at Serendipity 3 in New York City. I'm on my way. So what makes edible gold different from regular gold? Is it truly safe to eat? And can you guess where this gold-eating trend originated? Did it happen on Instagram? Maybe a pastry chef started this trend. Or does it go way back to ancient China? Keep watching to learn the history behind this glitzy food ingredient. This is edible gold. The edible gold trend isn't exclusive to burgers and sundaes. You can also find it adorning a cake, wrapping a sushi roll, or floating in a bottle of Goldschläger, a brand of Swiss cinnamon liqueur. Wow! And it's a social media sensation. Just take one look at the edible gold hashtag and you'll see thousands of beautiful macarons, pastries, and cakes glistening with the stuff. But this isn't just some modern Instagram trend. The origins of edible gold are older than social media. I don't believe you. Go figure. In 2013, The Guardian reported that a dessert adorned with gold was served to Hollywood's Glitterati at the Golden Globe Awards ceremony. Pastry chef Thomas Henze transformed a simple chocolate deli's cake with almonds, honey, caramel, and fresh berries into an expensive delicacy by adding edible gold flakes. The flakes cost $135 a gram. But he was not the first to use gold in his culinary creations. Far from it, in fact. A 15th century manuscript of an English cookbook contained a tart recipe that called for a gold leaf walnut as a garnish. Oh, interesting. But that wasn't the beginning either. Okay, using your power of deduction, you've probably figured out that the origins of edible gold date back to 2000 BCE in ancient China. While the ancient Egyptians were the first to hammer gold into delicate gold leaf, and the Greeks used gold leaf in the sculptures of their gods and goddesses, the Chinese were the first to use it as a food ingredient. But what makes edible gold, well, edible? Food-grade gold must be 90% pure, or 23 to 24 karat gold and it can only contain traces of other metals that are safe to ingest, like pure silver. Also, because your digestive system doesn't break down gold, the precious metal is not absorbed into your system. Where I poop gold? Yes, that means that after consuming gold, there is a strong chance that you may have gold-flecked poop. Not something I've never wished for, but I wouldn't be mad if it happened. Now that's what I call valuable bathroom time. According to the CDC, pure gold is a non-toxic substance. But just like anything, it should only be eaten in moderation. Oh, all right. Turning pure gold into gold leaf is an art form. Food-grade gold is hammered and stretched until it becomes extremely thin. It's so fragile that if you touch it, the heat from your fingertips will melt and destroy the beautiful flake. Um. So what makes edible gold worth all the fuss? The answer is easy, status. Well, well, well. Other than that, there's no reason to eat gold. It has no nutritional value and tastes like nothing. A golden ice cream sundae tastes exactly the same as a regular ice cream sundae. I mean, if you want to eat a $25,000 ice cream sundae, be my guest. I'll pass, as I'd rather buy a boat for $25,000. Okay, okay, it'll be a small boat, a rowboat, but it's still a boat, get off my back. If eating gold isn't your thing, what kind of food would you pay a lot of money to eat? Caviar? Truffles? Let us know in the comments. I'd rather spend my money on a juicy Wagyu steak. What makes Wagyu so special? Well, you'll just have to watch another episode of Origins of Food to find out.